All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Um, I'm live on site at the moment. It's a Saturday afternoon, I think. And um, when I say I think, it's been a long week this week working and stuff. So I'm on site at the moment. Um, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm giving someone a quote to replace um, their soak away system and I'm just trying to find the soak away and so I know it's around here somewhere so I haven't got to look too far um, with the septic tank ban and everything coming into into force soon um, the couple here um, know that their soak away is discharging into a watercourse and on the 1st of Jan 2020, obviously, it becomes illegal then. So, if you're unfamiliar with all the new septic tank rules and regulations coming into force on the 1st of January 2020, um, any septic tank that goes into a ditch, a culvert, a brook, a stream, or any kind of watercourse, such as a, a pond, anything like that, will become illegal. And so if I find this soak away now, I can give you a classic example of one of the many reasons why this septic tank, new, uh, all these new rules and regulations for septic tanks and soak are coming into force. Um, okay, so I found the water course here. I'll turn around and see if, I can, if you can see it behind me. There you go, can you just see it behind me? There it is. So that's the water course that I'm inspecting and um, wow some beautiful rams in the field I know I'm not looking at rams see if you can see these rams behind me uh, is that them there yeah that's them in between probably just see them there beautiful beautiful rams or goats. In fact, they're goats. Well, let's see if I can get a better view of these goats for you. There they are. You probably can't see them very well, but they are. Um, it always seems far away on the on the phone, but they're beautiful, amazing, and uh, their horns are gorgeous. Looking at me, who's that guy over there? You know, <laughs> probably thinks I'm on their territory. But anyway, let's go and have a look at this. Um, let's go and have a look at this septic tank and soak away well actually i've seen the septic tank i'm just looking at the soak away now so let's just get nearer this water course so let me turn around again so you can see there's the water course behind me and um beautiful beautiful water course here really is nice so let me just uh, get around here ah i can see it i can see it i can see it i can see it have a look at this. So, let me just see if I can turn around here. Uh, can you see it here? Maybe you can. There it is. There. See that arc there? That's the soakaway pipe. Yeah, so they're right. So the soakaway pipe looks new. When I say new, it could have been put in in the last five years. But everything in England normally falls into three categories. It's either um, orange pipe, clay pipe, which is kind of a, a dark orangey colour, oh, okay, more sandy than orange then, but, or you've got black perforated pipe. So let's see if I can go a bit closer down here without falling in. I don't fancy getting wet today. Wow, listen to those birds singing there. Wow. All right, let me have a look here. Oh. All right. Now let's see. Ah, is that it there? Yeah, can you see the soak away pipe there? There it is. Whoops. See if I can get my finger right there, I guess. That's the soak away pipe. And as you can see here, look. Beautiful water course. So obviously their septic tank's been going into here. I don't know, it's an old house that um, is connected to. So obviously they've had some repair work done um, over the last, I don't know, five years at least, because I'll, I'll get a close up now of this pipe and show it to you. But the point I'm making is, I reckon the septic tank here is probably like 60, 70 years old at least. And um, 
but with the new legislation they've obviously got to replace it let me just get closer in here so i can show you what we're dealing with uh, okay all right so there it is can you see that there it is it's hard to point there it's there oh there it's hard to point because you like mirror it image but there it is look at that get a bit closer here so there you go there's the septic soak away pipe going and there's the end of it there so that's the soak away pipe going into the water there and this is typical of not all septic tanks up and down the country don't get me wrong you know but um that is obviously the soak away let's show you where the soak away is so obviously that pipe's coming in the downward direction. The soak, septic tank itself is over in that direction. So obviously the soak away pipe's coming across the land here and then into the stream. So the new rules will dictate that, as I said, soak aways can only be a maximum of about 15 metres away. Uh, minimum distance, sorry. And so... That's about 45 feet, so I'll go and pace it out. So the soak away itself will obviously have to go parallel or in a different direction to the stream here. Um, the land itself obviously falls away down to here. Where the water is here is a good indication that this is the lowest point around here. The land seems to be sloping down in this general direction, so beyond the the tree line at the back beyond that is where the septic tank is so um, I will make the soak away um, cut it off there and then make it run parallel with this kind of a brook or stream here but it, so it actually runs along follows the course of the tree line there obviously making sure it's 15 meters away or more I mean that's one solution i'm thinking of there's probably others or i'll tell you another solution you can actually do which is um which is very very popular and that is if you actually um, connect a septic tank conversion unit a conversion unit um let's say you've got a, a septic tank that actually the soak away is actually going into the stream like that you can actually leave the soak away pipe where it is right and in between the soak away pipe here, there, and the septic tank, which is back where the tree line is, you can put in between something called a septic tank conversion unit. Septic tank conversion unit, such as um, I call them an ecosystem, and it's like a, a big square tank. It's they're non-electric. It bolts onto the outlet of the septic tank. And then from the septic tank conversion unit, you would still connect the soak away pipe to here, but it will convert the raw sewage, the raw effluent in the septic tank into clean, safe wastewater that can then legally discharge into the brook or the stream here. So that's another solution and probably it would cost the same as having to replace the soak away. So, um, if you've got a septic tank and soak away that's discharging into a brook or a stream if you go to septictank.co.uk at the bottom of the page there you'll see the ecosystem um, and uh, you'll see the septic tank conversion system i'm talking about so that's another option these people have got um personally if this was my property and that was my soak away going into the stream i'd put a septic tank conversion unit on um they come fully certified from the british government which means that um um you know they will completely conform with uh, the new rules and regulations coming into force on the 1st of january 2020. yeah so that's what i do so i i think i'm pretty much done here um it's a beautiful bit of land here and, and those goats i think they were goats or rams oh i just want to uh and funny enough there was like a little gazelle jumping around here before i thought it was a small dog but it dis disappeared off into that um neck of the woods there so let me just get through here now 
So if you've just joined me, I'm live on site, Ooh. inspecting a septic tank and soak away for a customer. And I'm just showing you something that's unrelated to septic tanks. I'm trying to show you these goats. Oh, I've got to show you this, man. Let's have a look. Where is he? Where is he? I'm trying to show you in the background where he is. Oh, I can't really, you can't really see on this other phone, but he's there. Look. If I keep my thumb there, oh, I can't, you can't really see it. It's quite small there, but he's beautiful, magnificent goat. He's got these big horns, like something out of flipping Jason and the Argonauts or something. Very stately, kind of beautiful ram. And he's looking at me thinking, what are you doing, Dad? You'd come over here and I'm going to butt you, mate. You know, he's very proud, very beautiful. Anyway, yeah, so um, just getting back to this, if, you, if, if you've got a septic tank and soak away and um, you haven't heard of the septic tank ban, it's coming into force on the um, 1st of Jan 2020. It's making a lot of people angry, making a lot of people cross, lots of people frustrated. Um, that's the bad news. And being a bearer of bad news, the messenger normally gets shot. But look, at the end of the day, I've been doing septic tanks for 20 years. Rules and regulations do change. And I'm offering you free help and advice to fix your septic tank and soak away without you having to spend thousands of pounds out. Many companies are taking advantage of this time. They're saying, oh, mate, you've got to repair your, replace your septic tank and your soak away. Because basically the rules state this. If your soak away like this goes directly into a water course, if your septic tank smells, if it's blocked, if, the, if it's not draining away properly, then the law states, which comes in, as I said on the 1st of Jan 2020, that you've got to replace or repair your septic tank straight away. And the ban basically means they're going to ban people from using their septic tanks until they repair or replace their septic tank. If they don't do it, then they'll fine them. The fines could be anywhere from like, I don't know, five, 10, 15 grand. And then they'll make you repair your septic tank and soak away. Many companies are taking advantage of, these, of this new legislation and companies are going around saying, oh, you've got to replace your septic tank and your soak away. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. If you go to septictank.co.uk, there's two and three, two or three really simple ways right, or solutions to this problem. Number one, go and get yourself a government compliance form, right? Go to septictank.co.uk. It's free. The compliance form was free. I don't want a penny off you, right? It, the compliance form basically, um, everyone needs a form. It needs, one needs to be displayed in the kitchen. One needs to be displayed with your solicitor. If you go to septictank.co.uk, download as many forms as you want. I've done the template for you. You've literally got to fill in the blanks. You've got to uh, put on there what system you've got, the capacity of it, how often you get it emptied, what repair work you've done to it, what maintenance you've done to it. All right, as I said, when, when you've down printed it, hand, put one in your kitchen, your utility room, hand one to your solicitor. When you come to sell your house, it'll save you thousands of pounds, right? Because um, the people buying your house won't try and knock you down for the amount or the price that it's going to cost to replace your system, which they normally do if you haven't got any documentation on it. Secondly, right, if you really want a cheap fix, and you've got a septic tank that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, put some soak away or septic tank worms in there. The worms eat everything. It's logical. They even eat, it'll eat me when I'm gone, but the worms will completely de-junk it. If you imagine like a septic tank and a soak away like this, it's like arteries in the human body. If we eat too much junk food, right? If we eat too much junk food, then our arteries clog up. It's the same with a soak away. After years and years of use, right, what happens is the pipes clog up and you can get them sucked out, but it won't suck the fat and the grease out of the soak away pipes, right? It just won't suck it out. You can get it jetted, but the jetting uh, high powered water will just compress the fat and the grease in the pipes. That's why people need their soak aways replaced every 15 years. If you put, if you go on to septictank.co.uk, I think they're about 149 quid, put yourself a bucket of worms in. It'll, if you've just got a system that's gunked up, they'll ungunk it for you. 150 quid is cheaper than getting your tank emptied. It's cheaper than paying someone three, four, five thousand quid to replace your system. 
if you soak away is going into a water course like this one or it's 15 meters or, or, or it's it's closer than 15 meters to a water course you you've got to replace your soak away or you've got to put a septic tank conversion system in which will allow you to continue going into the water course the thing is the septic tank conversion unit will um, convert the raw sewage the raw effluent in your septic tank into clean uh, safe wastewater that can legally discharge into um, into a brook or a stream like this and it's government approved so there you go so those are some of the solutions you've got if you've got if you're a septic tank or soak away owner this is what I do I've been doing septic tanks for 20 years I um, I repair I replace septic tanks I fix them, I consult for the environmental agency and UK building rigs, I actually train and teach um, building control officers the law. I'm well versed in the law and that's what I do. And um, so if you've just joined me, thank you very much for taking the time out on a Saturday afternoon to watch this guy walking around in someone's garden trying to fix a septic tank and soak away. But look, at the end of the day, I love septic tanks, I love helping people um, save money and if I could help you to make your septic tank legal and compliant before all these rules and regulations come into force on the 1st of Jan 2020 then all well and good. Every little helps doesn't it? So listen I'm going to go now and uh, tell the people, give them the two options that I've said spoken about in this broadcast and uh, listen you have a good weekend and depending on where I am later I've got some more inspections to do today I may do another live broadcast I may not but listen regardless of whether I see you later or not have a great Saturday and I'll speak to you soon